Hello witches and wizards and welcome to today's video. So you've signed up for your Hogwarts fan club. You've got in, you've got sorted, you've got your Patronus, you've got your wand. But now there's something that you do not want to miss. So let's take a look at the Hogwarts Legacy Twitter. This one here, look. Explore Hogwarts in style with the house fanatic school robes. Follow the steps at wizardingworld.com to import your house and wand and receive this full set of robes and beaked skull mask. I want that big skull mask, so let's do this. If you go on to enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. The magic starts early here on Game Changer. I will be putting a video out later on with some of our plans on the lead up to Hogwarts Legacy, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's go do this. So we're going to click on the link, wizardingworld.com forward slash legacy connect and get our accounts linked. So this will carry over my house, my wand, and my Patronus. So I'm going to sign in now. I think it counts. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so you will have to create a Warner Brothers account for this. So I didn't realise that. So I've just had to do that now. So you'll have to have your Harry Potter fan club, plus you'll have to have a Warner Brothers fan uh, Warner Brothers login as well. So I've done that now. Now let's see what's in store. So Harry Potter fan club connected. Launch Hogwarts Legacy and make sure you're connected to this Warner Brothers Games account to receive your beaked skull mask and house fanatic school robes. <sighs> I cannot wait to have that. That mask looks awesome. And I'd also like the robes, you know? Alright, so it's taken us back here. Follow these steps. I've done it. Log in, get sorted, discover your wand, link accounts. Exclusive wallpaper? Yes, please. We'll download that. Ooh, open file. Let's have a look. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Right, let's save that. <laughs> so I think that's it. It looks like we've done it. If I've missed anything, let me know because I know you will. I do have a viewer who has also told me that I've missed something. So let's have a look at the comments. So one of our viewers did point something out. So thank you Priestess for bringing this to our attention. So they've said here, you guys have more too. Your welcome letter and ones. Read what the prefects have to say. So let's go and have a look what the prefects have to say. Once again, thank you so much for bringing this to our attention. So once you've been sorted into your houses, if you come over here to the page you have on the left there, you've got your house, you've got your Patronus and you've got your wand. But then if you click onto your crest and you have a look at your house and then it says welcome to and then your house. If you actually scroll down, which we didn't know this, we didn't do this at all, you'll have a picture of the famous wizards from your house and witches. And then if you go down further, and you have a big letter welcoming you from your prefect of your house, which, I mean, it's so good. Look, and I like this. First of all, let's deal with the perennial myth about the place, which is that we are the least clever house. Wrong. Hufflepuff is certainly the least boastful house, but we've produced just as many brilliant witches and wizards as any other. How cool is that? And then they give you proof. And it just goes into so much about your house, so much detail. And it tells you how to access your common room, tells you a bit about your common room, which is just awesome. So I highly recommend you go and do this for your house. Uh, let me know in the comments if you missed this completely like we did. I, I can't believe I missed this. I'll get the Dino Lord to do his later as well and he can have a good read and uh, see what those Slytherins have got to say. So another thing that that viewer brought to our attention is that you can actually take a closer look at your wand and what it means. So let's do that now. You want to click on your wand on the left hand side. So here's mine. And if we scroll down, you've got a description of your wood, your core, your length and the flexibility of it. So if we take a look at mine here, the blackthorn wood. Blackthorn wood is a very unusual wand wood. Mm, that's good. Oh gosh, has the reputation in my view well merited of being best suited to a warrior. I always knew I was a warrior. It does not necessarily mean that its owner will practice the dark arts, although it is undeniable that those who do so will enjoy the Blackthorn Wand's prodigious power. Ooh. So that's the wood, and you can also obviously read a lot more about it. So that's the wand wood if you want to go and read yours. Now let's take a look at the core. Yeah, my, I'm a warrior, but my helmet got a little bit too heavy to just be sitting here reading, and I imagine the audio probably didn't come across that good. So then if you click on here, you can find out more about your core, and then the length. I haven't looked at this, let's see. Most ones will be in the range of between 9 and 14 inches. Whoa, so the Dino Lord did get a really long one, and a lot of you in the comments from the last video 
actually got really long ones then, because they were over 14 inches. That's crazy. Well, you can get over 15. That's just insane. You'd be really scared of it snapping, wouldn't you? Well, I would. Luckily for me, I've got 11 and a quarter inch ones, so that's awesome. And here you can find out about the flexibility of your wand and what that means. Because that has always been something that has uh, confused me a little bit. Like, why? And the Dino Lord even mentioned this the other day. He was like, what, what, what? What's the point? Why do they tell us if it's slightly yielding or if it's unbendable or, you know? So, yeah, you can find out more about that here. So, that is absolutely awesome. And I am so, so glad that that viewer told us about this. And also, your Patronus, if you click on your Patronus, it will tell you more about that as well. What does your Patronus say about you? So don't forget to do all of this. Don't take it just on face value when it shows you this stuff. There is also so much more to do on the Wizarding World website. So we're going to have a lot of fun on the run up to the release of this game. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. The magic starts early here on Game Changer and we have got so many plans on the run up to the release of this game. Stay tuned and have a magical day. Thank you for watching.